Practical SQL Server 2012 Administration and Programming, Database Design, Reverse Engineering a Database with Visio. We are in Visio Professional and we selected a database uh, model. So we go under Database and select Reverse Engineer. So this will be a new one. We are going to reverse engineer actually the Norfin database. So this is going to be Norfin. Northwind diagram and let's take it off from Dell Star next next change your default database to Northwind next Next, test data source. Okay, okay. Login. This is SQL Server login to reverse engineer. Well, it gets great. Next, so these are the tables. These are the views. Select all. We are going to leave this out because this is just a copy. Also, this appears to be an import. These are the views. Great. Next. Stored procedures. Well, let's just select a few. Customer by region, customer list by state. Employee sales by country. Next, these are system stored procedure, in fact. We can add shapes and finish. So it's working. We are excited what it comes up with. Well, it came up with something pretty impressive. We can check out the log. And to make this readable, let's go to 75%. Wow, it really looks great. Time to save. So we are saving it as under the name Northwind. And what we see here is a pretty impressive diagram. We can move up and down. It looks like this, some of the tables are disjoint, something like the state code. Not too worrisome with just a code table. And alphabetical list of products is a view. And this is the SQL for the view. That's great. And we see 
the very basis of relational database design, the many to one relationships, the foreign key to primary key constraints, well established. And in fact, this is an order stable similarly to ours. Well, we see some uh, new letter coding, I1 and I2. Let's just check it out. Well, that, that is an index and postal code. So it even knows what our index is. And uh, also, if we are doing forward engineering, we can create the indexes here and um, define it at this level before it gets uh, into physical database design. Another nice thing about the implementation is uh, email. We can email the Visio diagram. This is the emailing screen and it adds the subjects automatically. The size is quite modest, 210 KB, so it should uh, email easy. And we also see the famous self-reference if we Look in the employee stable. Let's just check it out. So, in this, the parent is the employee stable, and the employee ID is a primary key, and the child is the employee stable, the same table, and reports to is the foreign key, which points to the employee ID in the same key. So this is the usual definition of self-reference. Well, we see lots of uh, notations for order ID and product ID. We know PK, PK is a composite primary key consisting of order ID and product ID, FK1 and FK2. And I1, I2, I4, I3 is all indexes. Why do we have so many indexes, you wonder? So the index name is order ID, okay. Then product ID, okay. Then order orders detail. Oh, there is a duplicated index column. And products order, well, okay. It was suspicious right off the bat. And now we see that for some reason uh, there are too many indexing which has to be resolved. That's the reason of having I1, I2, I3 and I4. Product sales for 1997 is a view also. Let's just see if we can check it. So yes, this is the definition of SQL and uh, these are the columns, SQL, extended notes, SQL. So how do we know that it's view? Well, first of all, we can check the SQL, and uh, also it's shaded differently from tables to indicate uh, that it is different. So in this unit, we learned how easily we can reverse engineer a database and start using the Visio diagram as a documentation. Of course, this is based on if we have all the foreign key, primary key constraints. Now, if we don't have it, then Visio diagram is not going to draw in the connecting lines indicating the relationship or in that case we can establish the constraints before we import it to Visio. We keep stressing on proper database design. It is very important for smooth operations. It's also very important uh, for fast project development. So basically good database design will translate for the company saving money and uh, 
getting a, a, a better product, a better product design-wise, maintenance-wise, and operation-wise, more reliable product as well. This is the end of a unit.